Good morning, guys. It's Beck from Oz again. I am come back from the weekend here, like we're in our Monday now, and I'm just absolutely heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken, guys. We had such a fantastic weekend. We went boating, we went to Railway Museum. I am going to put a video together later on about that. There's some really cool stuff we looked at in that. And because on the weekends I try to disconnect from the world events, that is my time to just chill. And I can't, you know, I woke up this morning and started to um, look at what was going on again. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Look at my hunter girl go. She'll never catch him, but she tries. One day she will. I hope I don't need her to have to do it, hey? Because this is what it's all about. They've done it. They're doing it. The elites, they're burning America to the ground. I can't believe it. I mean, look, I'm in paradise. And paradise is gone. Paradise is gone, guys. Malibu is under threat. I mean, Malibu's already had burning going on, so I'm just devastated for those people and to know that they're doing it. Okay, so the main reason for this video really was just a quick catch-up high. And also, please, I've linked in the description box the first video that I woke up to watching this morning, which is a really top guy, James Munda. He does some awesome work please click the link in the description box below and watch the video and it will tell you what's happening the elites the globalists they're carrying out their agenda 21 they're doing it now it's happening i want to go back to sleep i don't want this to be happening and it is and i never usually get this upset and it's not lack of faith i'm crying for those people so many people lost everything. I, uh, I don't know. Look at this. And I'm in paradise here, you know. How have I done to deserve this? Nothing. Honestly. Okay, so please check out James's um, video below. Also, uh, something very interesting. I had a firefighter from the US contact me during the end of last week and very interesting conversation he had a hundred men under him um this was many years ago they were vaccinated with cancer causing vaccines they were made to have them uh, there was no comeback for them once they realized that they all had the same cancers blah -de blah 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 um he's never he said he'd never seen fires like this we all know these are not normal fires. And what, you know, please start doing your own research. Start doing your own research into Jew energy weapons, EMP attacks. The only thing at the end of all this that I can say is that we need the Lord right now so bad. We need the Father so bad. Because I don't usually get that shook up. I try to have, you know, that faith being really firm but it really shook me up because I wake up in paradise hearing paradise is gone and oh look just stay close to the father right now really really they are carrying out their agenda um I, I woke up in January this year and um started looking into things and Realise something wasn't right, that where we live, we've been lied to about that. We've been lied to on the grandest scale there is. There's a mass delusion going on. You say flat earth, people think you're an absolute... I don't know, they think you're a mushroom. You've been in the dark all your life and you know nothing. Well, they're the mushrooms. They're not looking for the gems. It's just like the dream I had. Everyone ran past the treasure. I stopped and picked it up. I was the only one that stopped and picked up that treasure. That treasure, I believe, was the word of God. 
please, I really hope that you guys start doing some more research. There is nothing you can do about it except get close to the Father. There is no... There's nothing we can do about it. They have total control. This is how they've planned it for the last 100 years or so. But we know definitely from 1984 Economist magazine about 2018 being the start of the New World Order. Has anybody seen the cover for the next year's Economist magazine? It's black! It's blacked out, guys. <laughs> They're trying to tell us. They're doing it. Now, when you watch this clip from James underneath, my gosh, it's in your face. They are giving you the owl, Moloch. It's all there. Have a look. I'm sorry I've been so emotional about this, but this is just... It's... Knowing about it happening is one thing, but now seeing it unfold, it's bringing the reality home. Seeing it really unfold and knowing, wow, I was hoping I was going to be wrong. I was hoping it was a fairy tale. I just want to wake up from this bad dream. So want to wake up. But in saying that, I was asleep all those years. Now I'm awake and I feel like I want to go back to sleep. Isn't that crazy? <sighs> Makes sense though. Nobody's happy anymore. Not even here, where people should be happy. The friendliest, most beautiful country in the world. People are moping around like they've got their legs chopped off. You know, like, please, people, find some joy, some peace. Some peace while there is still peace left. Because who knows, we could have our homes burnt down. We could be sprayed like bugs. You guys are copping it all. We're getting nothing here. We're still a little Commonwealth country that, you know, has got this new Prime Minister who's a Christian. Oh yes, they had to say he's a Christian. Okay. <laughs> I don't think any proper Christian would be in Parliament, do you? Really? Okay, um... They could start doing it to us here. Who, who's to say they won't? But, oh, my friends, my brothers and sisters in America, run to where you know you can get to, and I don't know, I, you can say that, but when you haven't got money, how do you run away? So pray, make God provide a way. Well, I have to go know this road just for a minute. Come here, Jazzy, I'll put you on the lead. Come here, darling.